Hi, uh, I'm Drake. I'm a Teals volunteer at Crystal Ray, Kansas City. And uh, this is our uh, project scrum board that we use for class. Um, so basically, we've divided uh, each task of the project into a day's work for the students to track and for also us to track their grades. So yeah, it makes it easy for us to um, easily see which students are what tasks, what day, who might need more help, and who's um, doing really well. So it, it's a really great way for everyone to visualize the project work and also for them to get real world experience. Uh, this is our Project 2 Python Text Monster project. And uh, so basically we have set up uh, baseline tasks, but it's pretty flexible about how you might want to do it. Um, and the students aren't stuck to which tasks they want to do on a particular day. Uh, depending on how they're writing their code, they might want to do uh, first three tasks and the last one. Uh, nothing here is keeping them uh, stuck to anything, just more of a guideline for us. We kick off class with a quick stand-up meeting. We say stand-up, but they don't actually stand up. Um, what we actually do is all the students are at their desks, and Drake or I will stand up here at the scrum board and go around to each student and say, so-and-so, what did you do yesterday? And they'll give a brief overview of what they worked on yesterday and what did you do today? And they'll give a super brief goal or you know whatever milestone they're trying to work on for the day. And that kind of helps keep them accountable of saying like, this is what I'm trying to do today. It helps us know ahead of time um, what to expect when we go to that student's desk. And uh, it's also just really good real world experience for them because that's similar to something that happens in the real software industry. Um, so I think it's good for them to have some exposure to that, I think, here in the classroom.